I'm Anthony L. Elmore, president and founder of Proud Black Leaders World Association. Go get your notes, sit back, we're going to give you a good educational lecture today. Our lecture today is Nyoho Renge Kyo, a black Buddhist lecture. You must examine Nyoho Renge Kyo from the sphere of black culture, history, and language. The phrase Nyoho Renge Kyo has a distinct black culture, history, and language. What the Japanese Buddhist teachers do not tell black people or what is not commonly known is that a black man, Shakyamuni Buddha, first chanted Yoho Renge Kyo. Please understand that language, history, and culture is important when you view things from the standpoint of cause and effect. See, the person who reintroduced Yoho Renge Kyo to the Japanese people was Nitrin Shonen, who did so on April 28, 1253. Now, please understand that when Nitrin chanted Yoho Renge Kyo, he did so some 2,000 years after Yoho Renge Kyo was first chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Please look at Nyoho Renge Kyo from the standpoint of black history, culture, and language. Milo says the reason other sutras are called great but not Nyo is simply that it is easy to cure those who have a mind, but difficult to cure those who are without a mind. Because it, the Lotus Sutra, can cure what is thought to be incurable, it is called Nyo a Wonderful. Does that not sound like a God to you? That's Nyo. Now, the ghost show, the Damonku of the Lotus Sutra, or the title of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, This Lotus Sutra, however, can cure the dead as well as the living, therefore it has the character Myo in its title, Myo Ho Renge Kyo. Myo, as you see, is another name for God. What else that you know that can cure the dead as well as the living other than a God? You see, in the ghost show, on attaining Buddhahood in his lifetime reads, quote, What then does Myo signify? It is the mysterious nature of life from moment to moment which the mind cannot comprehend or words express. When we look into our own mind at any moment, we perceive neither color nor form to verify that it exists. Yet we still cannot say that it does not exist for many different thoughts continually occur. The mind cannot be considered either to exist or not to exist. Life is indeed an elusive reality that transcends both words and concepts of existence and non-existence. It is neither existence nor non-existence yet exhibits the qualities of both." Unquote. Now, the ghost show entity of the mystic law reads, quote, when the great teacher Na Yue explained the five characters, no holding gay kyo, he said, quote, Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo, or mystic. Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho, or love. Renge, or Lotus, is a metaphor that's employed here. It would seem that, it would seem then it not 
that both Naye and Tentai interpret the lotus as a metaphor. Now, in the ghost show, the sacred teachings of the Buddha's lifetime reads, quote, regarding the words yo ho rin ge kyo the profound meaning of the Lotus Sutra by Tentai says of the word Myo, the character Myo or wonderful is defined as being as being beyond ordinary comprehension. It also says to reveal the depths of the secret storehouse. This is called Myo or wonderful. It also says, quote, Yo means the finest of the sutras. It is the doctrine of the gate to sweet dew or nirvana. And therefore it's called Yo. See, Yo is God. See, the Go Show also reads, with regard to the word ho, profound meaning says what is meant by ho is the ten worlds, the ten factors, existences that both provincial and true and it also says quote to define the proper relationship between the provisional and the true this is termed whole or law further the Gosho reads regarding the word Renge profound meaning says the word Renge or lotus blossom is an analogy for whole or existence that are provisional and true, unquote. It also says, quote, to point to the original enlightenment attained by the Buddha in the far distant past, this is compared to Ren or Lotus, to clarify the perfect way of non-duality or provisional and true. This is compared to gay or blossom. Further it reads, with regard to the word kyo, profound meaning says, quote, the voice carries out the work of the Buddha, and this is called kyo or sutra. Now, let's see if we can give you a better understanding. Now, the profound meaning sutra says, the voice carries the work of the Buddha. Now, the ghost show, opening the eyes of painted images reads, quote, a person can know another's mind by listening to the voice. This is because the physical aspect reveals the spiritual aspect. The physical and spiritual, which are one in essence, manifest themselves as two distinct aspects. Thus, the Buddha's mind found expression as written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind found expression in written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind in a different form. Therefore, those who read the Lotus Sutra must not regard it as consistent of mere word, written words, for those words are in themselves the Buddha's mind. Unquote. See, this goes show further reads. In this commentary, Ten Tide uses the term Buddha's mind to indicate that the sutra itself, a physical entity, actually embodies the Buddha's spiritual aspect. Further it reads, because the Lotus Sutra manifests the Buddha's spiritual aspect, when one embodies that spiritual aspect, in a wooden or painted image possessing 31 features, the image in its entirety becomes a living Buddha. Now, what this is explaining, ladies and gentlemen, is that the Lotus Sutra, 
When you relate, recite the Lotus Sutra into a physical object, that is like the eye-opening ceremony. That object becomes a living Buddha because the Lotus Sutra represents the spiritual aspect of the Buddha. It is actually the Buddha. Now, in regards to our lives, when we recite the Lotus Sutra or the title of the Lotus Sutra, we are encountering not just simple words, we are encountering the spirit of the Buddha itself. Now, what is the spirit of the Buddha? The spirit of the Buddha is the ultimate spiritual reality. The ultimate spiritual reality is another name for God. So when you chant Nyoho Ringe Kyo, you are tapping God or you are calling the name of God because the spirit of God or the spirit of the Buddha is Nyoho Ringe Kyo that was intoned or chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, the gift of rights reads, quote, the true path lies in affairs of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, quote, to have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, all non-Buddhist scriptures and writings in society are themselves Buddhist teachings, not non-Buddhist teachings. This means whether it's a Bible, whether it's a Quran, or whatever, it's all Buddhist teachings. And the essence of the Buddhist teachings is in the title, and the title of the ultimate spiritual reality of the Buddhist teachings is Nyoho Rinke Kyo. Now, the Gosho, propagation of the wise, reads, quote, the correct teachings of the time can be propagated only by a person of wisdom. In the gold show, the sword of good and evil, Nitrin Shonen writes, quote, you must pray to the heavenly gods with all your heart. Now, in the gold show, concentration, the image of Shakyamuni Buddha reads, quote, now, if we consider what the Buddhist writings have to say, we may note that the Golden Light Sutra states, quote, the God of the sun and the God of the moon, because they listen to this sutra, are able to obtain vitality and abundance. And the Sovereign King Sutra states, quote, through the power of the Sutra King, these luminaries are able to circle the four continents. You see, it is the power of the Lotus Sutra that gives these gods power. Now, Nitrin Father states, he says, I, Nitrin, have put my trust in this deity and in this manner I have carried on my struggles in Japan over the past several years. Already I have the feeling that I have achieved victory. Such clear blessings can only be attributed to this deity. Now you have Nitrin Shonen who says his protection comes from a god or a deity. Now. The word Namu means reverence. It also means to awaken. It also means devotion. When you chant Namu Myoho Rinke Ko, you are calling the name of God. You are awakening. You are showing reverence and devoting yourself to God.